Hello, my name is Ruby Veridiano. I'm a writer, speaker, and media personality, and I'm on a mission to redefine glamour. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ruby. You're watching What's Good, the show where we bring you good news and good people. You're really all about community and yeah, definitely. art to create community. So that's what I really admire about you personally. Yeah. Do you think that artists should have that kind of consciousness? Should they be aware of the messages that they're creating through their art? Or should it just be art for art's sake? So you're not a starving artist for sure because no. you got all these amaze balls things happening. What is the ballsiest thing you've ever done as a person? Hmm. I'm going to say Maybe the ballsiest thing I've done in my life is choosing to live the life of an artist. Yeah. And my question is, um, you know, like all super women want to be beautiful, but what is your definition of true beauty? Mm. Mm. My definition it's gonna be good. of true beauty is your heart. We're ready to embark on another culinary adventure to Pampanga via Paring Mel Pares authentic Kapampangan dishes. This time, it's a robustly flavored soup with fresh pig's blood as one of the main ingredients. Pero hindi ko dinagoan, mind you, it's called batsui. Oh, ayan, you've just enriched your foodie vocabulary. New York City. They say if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. It's the place where dreams go to light up the skyline, and I finally made it. A bright light in a sea of stars. I've dreamed of moving to New York for as long as I can remember. After a few years in the Bay Area, California as a performing artist, I decided it was time. So, with a lot of courage and a brave leap of faith, I've turned the page to begin another chapter. And this one begins with me conquering another lifelong dream, attending New York City's Fashion Week at Bryant Park, one of the most exciting events in the fashion capital of the world. So I'm a full-time performing artist. I travel with a crew called Illiteracy. We're a four-person collective. But with Illiteracy, our show is a lot about race, class, gender, and politics. And I think I'm throwing the diversity off because now there's blacks in the line. But being able to dialogue about these issues that's relevant and fresh our generation's perspective. In terms of the rock scene, how is it different from all other genres of music in accepting Filipino-American artists? How does process begin with you and what are you inspired by? How do different musical genres influence your style? If you also want to request any other bands to be featured right here on Mixology, shoot us an email, mix.tv. I'm your host, Ruby, and we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Adobo Nation. It's a fresh start to 2013 and many are feeling optimistic for the year ahead. But with the economy still in a funk, nurses looking for a job are hoping for better prospects this year. Donna Acampo and Pres Lorenzo of D&D Nursing Educators are here today to talk about what the future of nursing jobs look like. That wraps up this episode of Adobe Nation, but before we go, let's not forget to thank our dear friends. Once again, this is Ruby. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon.